now for night court. The House of Representatives in the Oklahoma State Capitol forced into a lockdown Wednesday when Black Lives Matter protesters staged a demonstration. It sparked heated confrontations in the gallery. One man standing nose to nose with the lawmaker confronting him over a measure that stiffen pe stiffens penalties for violent protesters. It also grants immunity to motorists who unintentionally kill or injure protesters while they are attempting to flee the scene of a riot. The bill was signed into law Wednesday by the state's Republican governor just days after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed an anti-riot bill into law there. But tonight, Florida's measure is already facing a legal challenge, claiming it limits the constitutional rights of protesters. Let's debate the merits of this case with tonight's Legal Eagles. Attorneys Kelly Hyman and Bob Bianchi, welcome to you both. Hey, Shannon, Thanks how you doing? Thanks for having us. Okay, let's start with Exhibit A. This is from Governor Ron DeSantis talking about this anti-riot bill he just signed into law. And it is the strongest anti-rioting pro-law enforcement piece of legislation in the country. If you riot, if you loot, if you harm others, particularly if you harm a law enforcement officer during one of these violent assemblies, you're going to jail. All right, Kelly, uh, not saying you can't protest. What he said there was, if you're violent, if you're looting, we're going to crack down on you. What's wrong with that? Well, I believe this is not an anti um, bill that's going to, but it's basically a bill that's harming people for peaceful protesting. It's basically saying if you go to protest and there's 75 people there and three people are bad, even though you're peacefully protesting, you can still be at harm. That's a problem. Majority of Floridians do not support this bill. Well, it is now law, so it is also being challenged. We'll have to see what happens. This is from the complaint, Exhibit B. It says this, um, the breathtaking scope of the bill includes granting civil immunity to people who drive into peaceful protesters if such demonstration blocks a road. Bob, that's one of the objections I keep hearing about this. Shannon, this is really a capitulation of all laws that already exist. And essentially, they're giving it enhanced penalties, and they're giving a, a, an affirmative defense, they call it, under that circumstance. So in other words, if you are rioting, not peacefully protesting, rioting, and you are committing an assault on a police officer or a burglary or great bodily harm to somebody else, or if you as a rioter gets injured, then you're not going to be able to have a lawsuit. That's really not much different than what they call comparative negligence that we have right now. And I'll go one step further. I actually think that this law does something in favor of protesters. You're right to peacefully protest is enshrined in our country. Constitution, but the right to commit violence and deface property and tear down monuments and injure people is not. The Brandenburg Court of the United States Supreme Court said that that is not protected free speech, mm -hmm. and we need to have laws like this so that the protesters can go out there and peaceably mm -hmm. protest without having to worry about people rioting and harming them and their families that are trying to put a message forward in a proper, professional, and peaceful way. It actually helps the protesters. Yeah, I mean, there, we have this conversation a lot on the show about there's a difference in the fact that people who are trying to peacefully protest get their message drowned out by bad actors who then just want to leverage the scene to keep, create chaos. Uh, it does a great disservice to these families and to these protesters who have something to say. That gets us to Exhibit C. Here is a Florida state rep, Randy Fine, talking about the bill. There's no First Amendment right to loot. There's no First Amendment right to burn down someone's business. There's no First Amendment right to attack a police officer. 10 seconds to each of you to make a final uh, argument. Kelly, to you, then Bob. We have a First Amendment right to free speech, and this infringes people's right to free speech. Bob? In no way, Shannon, infringes somebody's right to free speech. The Brandenburg Court and common sense tells you that you cannot commit violence while you're protesting. Peaceful protest all the way. Violence, no way. Well, it is. it was surprising to me in getting ready for this segment that there are so many states who are considering this exact same thing or have recently passed very similar measures. And I think after what the country went through last summer, uh, there are some states that think, think that this is necessary. So we'll watch to see how the legal cha challenges pan out. Kelly and Bob, thank you both. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you.